Doesn't matter when the body fails, the body fails. All right, Bantamweight's up next here inside Chumash Casino Resort. Doug Fisher, walk us through the tail of the tape. Yeah, you know, really, they, um, they're the same height. Um, they basically have the same reach. And uh, Abgarian is just two years younger, so they match up very well, physically speaking. To welcome our athletes to the ring, we go to Sonny Franco. All right, fight fans, let's get the action going once again. Please welcome out of the blue corner from Fresno, California, by way of Michoacan, Mexico, here is Manuel Chaparrito Manso. Manuel Manso. Making the walk here inside Chumash Casino Resort. 19 bouts on his pro record. Been in the ring for 80 rounds over his seven-year pro career. Unbeaten in his last six fights. I like it when the opponent is on a win streak because that means that uh, they're going to inch his rank with confidence. And, you know, the, the record on paper doesn't really tell the whole story. I mean, nine and seven and three, it, it says a lot of experience, but recently a lot of winning experience. I mean, winning his last six fights, he's got momentum on his side. Yeah, so he, he's, done, he's doing something right in his life and in his training. I'll tell you what, though, he looks battle-tested. Just looking at his face, man, he's been in some fights. He's only been stopped one time in his career, and he'd love to pick up Another win here tonight, make it seven in a row at Hollywood Fight Nights. And now, please welcome his opponent as he makes his way to the ring out of the red corner from Yerevan, Armenia. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is Nadi Tansi Keller Narc Abgarian making the walk. They call him the Dancing Killer. 15 and one with six knockouts. I mean, the Dancing Killer, that might be one of the better that's nicknames a, in combat sports. Yeah, that's a sick moniker right there. Um, this is the one guy in the red corner that I'm unfamiliar with, so I'm really looking forward to watching this guy live. Um, I don't know much about his background, but I know if Freddie Roach is uh, bothering to train you and you're, you're getting your rounds in at the Wild Card Boxing Club, um, you got to be special. You have to have some talent. There has to be some potential there. He's got a nice record, but, uh, you know, that's like the record of a prospect, 15 and 1. He's 31 years old, so they got to get moving with his, uh, his career. See if he can keep it going tonight here at Hollywood Fight Nights for our official introductions of this bout. We go to Sonny Franco. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Loeffler's 360 Promotions continues on with the action with the next bout of the evening. Set for eight of rounds of action in the Bantam Weight Division. At the ringside, your three judges score the bout should a go the distance are Dr. Lou Moret, Zach Young, and Eddie Hernandez Sr. And your referee in charge of the action at the bell, please welcome a Sharon Sand. My fans, here we go. Introducing first, fighting in the blue corner. He steps to the ring tank with a black trunk with gold. When he stepped onto the scale, he weighed in officially at 119.8 already pounds. As a professional, his record stands. Nine victories against seven defeats with three bouts even. Four of his victories come to you by way of KO. Ladies and gentlemen, join us tonight from Fresno, California, by way of Michoacan, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, presentando Manuel Chaparrito Manso. And introducing his opponent, button across the ring in the red corner. He steps in the ring tonight with a purple trunks. When he stepped onto the scale, he went officially at 118 pounds even. As a professional, he has 16 fights to his credit, including 15 victories against one defeat. Six of his victories come to you by way of KO. Ladies and gentlemen, join us tonight all the way from Yerevan, Armenia. Please welcome Nadi Dustin Keller. Well, 
get your brand charged. Sharon Sands will give the final instructions. Sharon Sands getting this assignment. Eight rounds of boxing scheduled. This in the Bantamweight division. It is Armenia's Narc Abgarian taking on the Mexican Manuel Monzo. TJ DeSantis, Abel Sanchez, Dougie Fisher. Live tonight in Santa Inez, California, inside the Pearl of the Valley out here, the Chumash Casino Resort. Here we go, we are underway. Garian in the purple, Monzo in the black with yellow. Abel, you know, I'll talk to you about game plan a little bit for the Freddie Roach train, Abgarian, you know, a, a guy with uh, a lot of experience standing in front of him, and he's only been uh, put down one time, only been stopped one time. How do you, uh, you know, prepare and start a fight knowing that your guy can go the distance and doesn't go away easily? Him being 31 years old just tells me that he, he probably had a lot of amateur experience in uh, no doubt Armenia, about in, it. In Armenia. Yeah, they yeah, have so. a strong amateur system. Yes, they do. So uh, I imagine the game plan is just, uh, uh, again, just to see what the has. And, and, and this right hand, I have Garnier. Monzo definitely in his face here early, Doug. Yeah, something tells me that uh, Monzo's key to victory is getting close and just let your hands go. I, I see. Uh, so he's, he's living up to the dancing part of this performance. But when he does plant his feet, he lets his hands go. So there's some pop on the end of the shots, too. Seems comfortable and close, he's, you know, with the high guard, allowing Monzo to kind of get him up against the ropes. Volume here from Monzo early as we just get past the halfway point of the round. Not a lot of technique from Monzo. He's kind of a winger. There seem to be a lot of leverage with those shots. Gagarin definitely the, the sharper of the two, technically speaking. Rip of the bottom belt, left hand and right for a guardian. Yeah, his punches are much Again, Monzo coming forward, right hand. Yeah, that was a pot shot on the fly. And, that, and he switched stances again. Southpaw just for a second. He's just as good uh, from the southpaw stance as he is orthodox. 30 seconds left in this opening round. Ooh, nice combination. Two shots lit, flush on the chin of Monzo. Yeah, really good accuracy, really good uh, timing from Nagarian. See the confidence on display here for the Armenian. Yeah, showing off a little bit. Yes, Ten seconds. Goes up with the left hand. Trying to fire back to the body is Monzo. Nice bit of work turned in by Narc Abgarian. And he plays the crowd a little bit. He is a showman. He's having fun tonight here. I, I, I like what I see. You know, Coach, his uh, nickname, the, the Dancing Killer, I was trying to think. It does remind me of a fighter's nickname. And if you recall, there was this fighter out of Britain, uh, a heavyweight that they called the Dancing Destroyer, Herbie Hyde. You remember Herbie yeah, Hyde? Of course. The Dancing Destroyer. <laughs> Doug Fisher, walk us through some of the action. Oh, beautiful. Right cross from the southpaw stance. Um, Abgarian landing that punch while on the move. Monzo having a little bit of success. Some of those body shots got through as uh, Abdarian elected to, to, to box him off the ropes. But the, the accurate, clear power punching landed by Abdarian. Land and then get out of the way. That was a nice uh, left cross. Monzo was very aggressive in that opening round. Do you expect to see his tempo change at all, Abel? Well, he's aggressive, but he's not being affected. He's, right. uh, he's, he's so wide open that uh, Abgarian is able to catch him with the single pops. Abgarian moving quite a bit here to start the second round, mud on his feet. He is a dancer. 
He's got incredible balance. Big uppercut there. You know, with that agility and movement, you can just see how confident he is as well. His right hand. Monza trying to attack again. Evgarian covering up, biting his tongue. Nice right hand. We talked about it, Abel. I mean, he, he's not super effective, but still coming forward is Monzo. Oh, he heavy shots down from Evgarian. Avarian is landing everything he throws, but he's got a guy who's just imitating a heavy bag in front of him. Again, Monzo only stopped one time in his 19 fight career. So he just, I, I guess he just accepts this. He's like, hey, I'm tough, I can take it, so this is how I'm gonna go about fighting. He's gonna walk forward. Been head to head here. Nice uppercut for Evgarian. Rolling with these punches for Monza. Gotta be a bit deflating, I think, able for someone like Monza who's throwing with volume. Even when he does land, doesn't seem to really have any effect. Well, in his career uh, has been one that uh, he's played his own court. Right. Uh, Evgarian, I think, is, uh, should be a little busier when he's up against ropes. Even if it's just single shots, a little better defense and a single shot just uh, to get the referee to interfere, interfere in this. Load up with that left hand. Again, we talked about it. Evgarian, you know, power in both hands and power from both stances, both orthodox and so. Monza really trying to just overwhelm with volume. Taking shot to the body there by a guard. Really, it's a, you know, the difference here between the athletes is uh, quality and quantity. A lot of quantity from the Mexican. For me, it's really a lot more quality. Yeah, uh, ah! the, the quality's land. Right. <laughs> And the quantity is just pressure and not the effectiveness. Two rounds down here. Another solid round for the Freddy Roach trained Nard Afgarian. Sweeping overhand left lands from Avgarian. Monzo tries to uh, respond with uh, roughhouse tactics. Headed into round number three. Round three, guys. So this is our second fight of the night. Eight rounds scheduled. Debatably division, Narc Avgarian meeting. Manuel Monzo, TJ DeSantis, Abel Sanchez, Doug Fisher. Appreciate you joining us live here for Hollywood Fight Nights on UFC Fight Pass. I'd like to see more jabs from that guy. Sometimes when you got a, a real tough guy in, uh, in front of you, I think a steady jab has a way of um, setting things up. Yeah, well, it definitely helps set up your power. Although he's, I mean, he's doing a good job just with three power shots because this guy is, is squares, squares up as much as he does. But I, I think it could, like, it could slow down his pressure. And uh, I'd like to see if you know, he could wear him down with a lot of jabs to the head and then start to walk down the bully, so to speak. He does a real good job of guarding him, um, of playing the matador, but I would guess he's, he's just as strong as Manzo. I mean, he looks more athletic anyways. Um, and, I mean, he could do this for eight rounds, but if you could force a stoppage, I think that that's a, that's a better way. It, that's a bigger statement. I, I like to see him there. He's a level. I like to see him in the body. Yeah, look, I mean, the head is just such an inviting target. It's just right there. 
fighting in such a way. Yeah, that's true. And it, it does look like Monzo's body is right there to be tagged. Halfway point of the round. Monzo's still with the volume, but he's a hard left uppercut by Abgarian. I mean, by now, I, I think Abgarian has to understand that he's not going to get rid of this guy with a single shot. He's going to have to put combinations together. And Coach, I agree 100%. Body-head combination is the best way to go. Still does Monzo a bit, does Abgarian. One minute left in this third round. That's one tough question. Now the face, the face, the ears, it tells a story. A lot of leather has landed. But that body is soft, and uh, I, I think Jess is inviting a target. And uh, Ryan should, should test it. There, there are guys who can take anything to the head, but nobody takes the perfect body shot. We saw that in the opening of the broadcast. This thing seems a, a nice single jab. Athletes <laughs> fight to the bell of the third round and three solid rounds for Narc Abgari. Abel, you mentioned it. Monzo, a tough customer, but you know, toughness doesn't necessarily win fights. No, he's uh, he's absorbing too much, uh, too many straight shots, good shots. But I think that uh, he needs to go to the body and set up his head shots a little more. And the referee will, in, will interfere in, 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 in the box. I think that uh, it's I think she's confirmed with the uh, inspector now. There's a nice. Uh, two-piece combination from Abgarian off the ropes. He rolls really well with these punches. Some of these punches from Monzo are getting through, though. There's a, a right hook, and then a right hook, left cross combination, and uh, Abgarian spins off the ropes. Sets up to do it all over again. Round four underway, Narc Abgarian, Manuel Monzo, TJ DeSantis, Abel Sanchez. Dougie Fisher live here tonight inside Chumash Casino Resort. She is joining us on UFC Fight Pass. This round, continuing with the pattern of this fight with Monzo. Marching forward at Guardian, letting his feet, living up to that moniker of the dancing killer. Well, the dancing killer. <laughs> I mean, he just went for a guillotine choke there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a nice jab when he uses it. I, I like the, uh, a moment ago, he shot a jab to the head and then right to the stomach. No, no, he loads up with a right hand, does it, Brian? Yeah. The referee is saying that the, the right hand landed a little bit, a bit behind the ear. Monzo has a lot of spirit. I mean, he's being outclassed here. And this has got to be a, a very frustrating night for him, but he, he still has that, that fighter's pride. When we talk about his durability, it is on display once again. 19 fights, only been stopped one time. Monzo just got warned for uh, throwing two punches at the same time. I mean, you know, cuffing with both hands. Right with your white staff. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's, but I mean, that's a sign of frustration, doing stuff like that. Boy, that's a callback, Coach. <laughs> Gray Windmill White. <laughs> California State Light Heavyweight Champion yes, in the 60s. Right yes, at the Olympic. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen footage of him, but I've read articles. Uh, he was wild. Very unorthodox. Ooh, yeah. body here is I like that. I like those things. are straight left to the stomach. You can take some wind out of your opponent's cells. Oh, left hand finds the chin of Manuel Monzo. Right hand. Monzo again comes forward. 30 
seconds left here in round number four. Lonzo doing everything he can to try to get something going. Arm right hand by Abgari. Garian has a nice right hook. Halfway down in this fight, four to go. And again, credit to Manuel Monzo, who's very gritty in game, but he, he's got to do something, Abel. He's, the offense that he's landing, it just comes down to being ineffective. He's completely out of class, but yeah. I, I'd like to see him. Gary, and, uh, he throws his head shots, just throws the body. He throws a right hook. Give me a left hook to the body. Give me a left hook, give me a right hook to the body. It just, I think that when you get hit with a good shot up on top, you're exposed, your body's exposed, and you're not ready for the body shots. I think that'll take a toll uh, in the next three rounds, and then you stop it. There's a body shot right there. Coach. Uh, left to the body after he landed two huge overhand rights. The overhand rights aren't, aren't doing anything. Uh, the body shots could. Sharon Sands is uh, basically warning the, the corner. She's looking at their guys. And I think that's fair because we all know he's lost the first four rounds. So if he can't win this round, just let Doc take a quick look at you. Just make sure. Yeah, and, and this sure. is the ringside physician who's uh, going to explain to him that he's, he's taking too much punishment. Wait a minute. Hey, and, you know, Monzo is lucid. I think he's still with it, but the bottom line is he can't take that punishment repeatedly and not have any chance to throw anything back because what he's doing is, is not really beneficial. Yeah, and it's getting to the point where Abgarian has, you know, an insurmountable lead, and it doesn't look like Monzo has the power to turn it around, so... Why have him take these big shots for four more rounds? Um, I would hope if uh, up, up, up. if Monzo eats a bunch of shots in this round that the corner would just wave it off, just keep him on his stool uh, after this round. But sadly, often corners are as brave as the fighters. And this guy is very brave, and, and very brave fighters need to be safe for themselves. It, it's a tough position to be in, Coach, when you think about it, because the, the corner never wants to take away the fight from their fighter, but sometimes, you know, leveler heads have to prevail. When it comes a point when you set far down, and you know that he's not going to land that shot, uh, it's a sense. Uh, protect him from himself. I'm trying to work in the corner here is Monzo. Punches in front, punches in front. Punches in front. Play that same game. The referee warning. This is a great opportunity for the very team to practice some of the things that they've been working on in the gym. Uh, you've got a tough guy in front of you that's going to take everything you've got to give. And you practice. Right. Is, these, these are preparation for the, for the title shot. Left hand finds a home for Monza. Hit another left. Right hand for guard. Again, Monza just marching forward. I've got a very good at landing after power shots from mid range and in close. Very good at punching on the fly while he's moving. I would love to just see him try to back Monzo up with a nice, stiff, straight jab, um, either out of the southpaw or orthodox stance, and, and, and land some straight shots as he's backing Monzo up. Try to take that game away from Monzo. And I think, I think he has the physical ability to do that. So I guess, you know, this is his style. Back at the corner of Monzo, and they don't seem to be too. Uh, they don't seem worried, huh? They don't seem concerned, concerned, but I think they should be. Yeah. Nice right hand for Abgarian. And it, I mean, it's it's a, it's a tough place for the referee because Monzo's in there swinging. He's just taking a lot of punishment. When he, when, when he does like, drop a salvo like this, they miss or they're blocked, and, and the punches that do land don't seem to have any effect on Abgarin. I mean, it's relentless aggression by Manuel Monzo, but it's not effective. Right. 
and it, and the referee and the doctor are in a tough, tough position. Uh, wow. Manzo is trying. Right. But it comes to a point where all that trying is not going to be a win or a knockdown or anything like that. He hasn't been able to hurt him. It comes to a point where you have to live for another day. You okay? And he's got an aggressive mindset. He's not going to stop trying Monzo, but you'd like to think that maybe the corner is going to say, all right, well, seen enough here. But they're still giving him instruction as we are about to head into round number six. Referee talking to Monzo. Monzo just basically pleading his case. I'm fine. Stay right here. Stay right here. He's going to be afforded the opportunity to fight on. Really big shot, he's not that bad. She might just take that opportunity to call a hike to the mismatch. You gotta think Evgarian yeah. knows that. Maybe we'll see more volume, more combinations than we've seen thus far. He's been throwing great shots, nice uppercut there. Power back to Andre Bick. See, he can back him up. Come forward. That oh, he's gonna be to get. That, that's, how you that's how you force the stoppage. That gives. Sharon Sands, the opportunity to say, okay, you're done. That's a wrap. Yep. And Monzo not happy, but Sharon Sands. Waiting. She was waiting for that opportunity, and when Afgarian came forward and backed this dude off balance, that gave her the opportunity. And uh, I'm not mad at the stoppage. I know I know Monzo's a proud warrior, and he is, but I think, I think it was the right call. And he'll fight again. I mean, the, the kid's a gamer. He's going to go out there and continue. And he's, he was riding a, a, a beautiful win streak into this fight, but tonight yeah. belongs to Narg Abgarian. And referee, like you said, Doug, was just waiting for the opportunity. Abgarian gave it to her, and the stoppage uh, is a just one. Yeah, the thing is, TJ, is that Monzo can make for really good fights against a lesser talented fighter. It's just that Abgarian has this amateur background and this fighting style, this boxing style that um, just basically neutralizes Monzo. So this fight wasn't as entertaining as I'm sure Monzo can be. And he can come back, put him in there with another another bull, another gamer, and hey, we, get, we get a nice slugfest. Hey, Monzo was here to entertain. He entertained everybody. It he takes did. two to tango. He was yeah. willing to do his part. He was game, and um, he deserves credit for that. He's going to take it two on the rope here as the crowd is appreciative of his work. As well they should be. But tonight belongs to Narg Abgarian, picking up the 16th win of his professional career. But it wasn't without effort from Manuel Monzo. Well, he's got nothing to be ashamed of. He's, he's, he's tried. Take a look at some of the action here. Doug, walk us through. Yeah, this is... Uh... Abgarian coming forward. He landed a couple right hands and then a big left hook, snapped the head back of Monzo. And as soon as Monzo's back touched the rope, Sharon Sands, the referee, said, okay, here's my opportunity. And it's not like Monzo's really reeling, like, because he's out of it. Right. It's not like he's concussed or anything like that. He's just, you know, he's being physically overwhelmed for the first time in the fight. And it's an opportunity to stop the fight and spare him from undue punishment. There's really five plus rounds of one way action. The action continues coming up next. Speaking of action, the KO King, Cain Sandoval. Yeah. Nine and with nine knockouts. He takes on Jose Marufo. And it's gonna be a fantastic fight coming up next. But let's make this one official. We go to Sonny Franco. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. 41 seconds of round number six. Referee Sharon Sands puts a stop to this contest, declaring your winner by way of a knockout, Nuggy Dancing Killer Nark Abgarian getting it done, now 16 and one as a pro. Seventh knockout of his career. Performance he's got to be proud of, as he really put on a nice display. Was uh, maybe more patient 
at times than he needed to be, but he was in there with a very aggressive Manuel Monzo, and onward and upward for the Armenian. I, I think this is a good lesson for him because he saw once he started pushing forward, he got the results that he really wants. I mean, he, he wants to be the dancing killer. He wants to get a stoppage. He doesn't know. just want to outbox his opponent. I don't know if he saw it, but as he's, climbing, as he's coming down the stairs, he fell up. Yeah, fell so down. maybe his legs aren't 100% yeah. under him. Here's the fight recap. Five plus rounds of one way action by the Armenian. Narc Abgarian found himself in there with a very game. Manuel Monzo. And it was the nicest play of boxing technique. He weathered the storm, picked his shots, and they landed pretty hard, though. Yeah, Avgarian has skills. He's got really good balance. He's got excellent footwork. Um, he's a really good judge of distance, excellent timing, very accurate with his shots. He's a really good counter puncher. Um, areas to work on, I think he needs to have a more consistent jab. Um, he could tap the body a little bit more, and it'd be great to see him put power punches together in combination a little bit more. But I think this was a learning experience for him, and, and we probably will see those facets of the game in future fights from him. Great stuff on display from the Armenian, the Freddy Roach trained Narg Abgarian, now 16 and 1.